What's up guys, Jerry here, and today I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of the Shengu SG-108 shotgun mic. This particular microphone has become popular with a lot of uh, amateur DSLR videographers, uh, mainly due to the price. Uh, you can get this thing from anywhere from 20 to $35. And while it's not a night and day difference, it is an improvement over the onboard microphone. So if you're interested in picking up this particular mic, I'm just gonna show you what you get in the box. So jumping right in here, if we flip the packaging over. Uh, it's got Shangu on the left side and SG-108 at the top. Uh, it's also got a brief description of the microphone in a couple different languages. On the front here, uh, I've got SG-108 and then Handycam, a Shangu logo. And uh, if we open it up here, take a look at what's inside. Looks like we get a couple things here in addition to the mic itself. The first thing is the user's manual and followed by a battery and the microphone itself nothing too special got your uh, off 90 degrees and 120 degree switch on the side looks like an all plastic housing nothing too special there got a windscreen and then a carrying case for the microphone and that's about it now for those that are interested, let me just give you a brief install tutorial here. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and grab your windscreen and put that over the front portion of the shotgun mic. Try not to laugh at my methods of getting it on. So it's nice and snug there as you can see. I'll get rid of some unwanted noise. Then you want to grab your battery. Go ahead and remove the packaging from that. You want to take off the battery cover on here. It should be on the same side as the on off switch. Just go ahead and throw that in there. Go ahead and put the cover on. Make sure that snaps in place. And then we can uh, turn it on. It's got two settings, uh, 90 degree and 120 degree pickup patterns. Uh, if you notice there, the light flashed on and then quickly off. That's normal. That's there to save battery. So uh, don't freak out when that happens. It is working. And once you've done that here, let's go ahead and grab your DSLR. Uh, this one I'm just using for reference purposes. It uh, This particular camera doesn't actually take video, but that's okay. So we'll just loosen up that piece there on the microphone. And you go ahead and put it onto the uh, top of your DSLR and screw it in firm. Then what you want to do is go ahead and plug it into the appropriate port on your DSLR. If you have a camera that has uh, been made recently you should have a port for an external mic and probably at this point what you'd want to do is go into the settings of your DSLR and adjust the microphone uh, sensitivity just to make sure that uh, when you are recording with this thing that it does come out correctly and uh, yeah that's about it this microphone should be a decent upgrade over your DSLR internal mic uh, but if you can afford to take the next step up, I'd probably recommend going with the Zoom H1. Uh, it's definitely going to have superior audio quality. And I think overall you'll be more satisfied with that mic. But that's it for today, guys. Make sure you like this video and leave a comment. And until next time, see ya.